All right, this is Dr. Smith back in action doing the cat problem. So there's our horribly disfigured little cat. Um, and the cat sees a flower pot sail up past a window. The window has a height of H, I'm going to call it. And then it sails back down past the window. And it has a total time in view of T. So T equals total time in view for and that's the total time for both the up and down swing. And then it reaches some height D above the window. The cat can't see it, but I guess the cat is wondering why it is. Very curious cat for some reason. So let's um, start by defining some coordinate axes, which is always a good thing to do. Let's say Y equals zero at the base of the window. And this is our positive Y direction going up. So at the base of the window, we're going to say time equals zero velocity, initial velocity equals uh, something, and y equals zero. And then we get up to this point of the window, up to the top of the window, um, and y equals h, velocity equals something, and at the very top of its flight, velocity equals zero, y equals h plus d. Okay, so there's my little horribly disfigured drawing. So let's find, um, let's start by figuring out how long, it, how um, fast the thing enters. And speaking of cats, there's my cat trying to bug me. Um, let's figure out how long it spends going through the window on, in one direction. Now, if you, it might be intuitively obvious to some of you, but if you think, Sydney, later. But um, if you think about the trajectory this thing takes on a position versus time curve, it's going to be symmetric about the, the peak. And so you can see from that, you know, it's going to have the same shape on the way up that it does on the way down. And if you think about it a little more, you can see that if you draw a line across here, and now Sydney is stepping on the papers of previous attempts I've made, so hopefully that won't disrupt us. If you draw lines like that, and then you try to figure out, you know, so say this line up here represents the top of the window, this line down here represents the bottom. And then you draw, um, you know, you try to figure out the amount of time taken by drawing vertical lines from the intersection points. Then you can see that if you mark off delta t as being the time it takes to go, you know, go through the window on the way up, then it'll be the same time delta t on the way down. And so since we said capital T was the total time in view, which is just the sum of these, then we can say capital T is delta t, really is 2 delta t. And so from that, we can say delta t is capital T over 2. Hello, Sydney. All right. She's sitting on the papers now right in front of me. So anyway, let's see if we can keep working while my cat's in the way. Um, so what we want to figure out then now is we want to figure out really what this initial velocity is. That's that's our goal, because once we figure that out, we can figure out the the top of the of the thing here. So let's say um, it, takes, it takes us... Um, Let's do. Let's let's write out the equation for, um, you know, for free fall here, and that's gonna be y equals y naught plus v naught times t minus one half g t squared, where t is the amount of time it takes for it to go a certain distance up to y. So let's plug in our our top conditions here, our top of the window conditions, and we'll say h equals y naught plus. And how long does it take to get up to the top of the window? Well, that's our delta t over here, which is big T over 2. So our height over here is going to be y naught, which is um, which is actually 0. So let's start with 0. No, actually, you know what? Let's just start down here. h equals 0 plus v naught times big T over 2 minus 1 half g times big T over 2 squared. And then that tells us that h is v naught times t over 2, and over here we have the 1 half, and then 2 squared, also in the denominator, so minus 1 eighth g big T squared. Okay, so now we want to solve that for v naught, right? So v naught times big T over 2 equals h plus 1 eighth g t squared. And then we can multiply both sides by 2 over t. So we want to get rid of this term. So v naught equals 
2h over t. And then, I'm sorry, that was a, this is an 8 here, not a g, my, my mistake. Um, and then the 2 over t, we multiply by this term, and we get 1 over 4 times g big T. And this here is our v naught. Now, this is, um, this is an obnoxious uh, equation here, but fortunately, we are basically just about the end, because now we're going to say, you know, down here, um, its velocity is v naught, right? And then up here, when it peaks, velocity is zero. And the dis distance between those two is, it's our distance d over the height of the window, if you look back over here, and then also the height of the window itself. So this distance here is just d plus h. So now we can say v, we can use our equation that relates um, velocity at the beginning and end, um, and our and uh, distance travel and acceleration. So v squared is v naught squared minus two times g times the distance times the distance sorry the upward displacement. So h plus d. So right there, that is the equation, um, and we need that is zero. And then um, v naught squared is going to be this is going to be ugly. I warn you. 2h over t plus g big T over 4, all of that squared, minus 2 times g times h plus d. And remember, it's this d in here is what we're trying to solve for. That's not getting squared or anything, so we, will, we won't have to do anything nasty like use the quadratic formula. So let's just bring this over here and get to work on it. And this is, like I said, it's going to be ugly. So 0 equals, we have 2h over t squared, so 4h squared over t squared. And then we have this term times this term times 2. So that's going to be, looks like that's going to cancel. So actually, this is going to cancel very nicely. So this is going to be 2 times 2h over t times g big T over 4. And then this last term is going to be g squared big T squared over 4. And then we can expand the last little term here, minus 2gh minus 2gd. And remember, it's this d that we want, um, as though I haven't reminded you enough times about that. So this term in here, um, which I'm drawing a little box around, is very conveniently um, cancelable. We can cancel a t here with a t here. We have a 2, a 2, and a 2 squared. So really this whole term in here just boils down to hg. So this is going to end up being much simpler than it looks like it should be. So 0 equals 4h squared over t squared plus g times h plus g squared t squared over 4 minus Again, the same thing comes over, minus 2gh minus 2gd. So let's pull our d over to the other side, and our, our d term over the other side, and 2gd equals, um, and I'm just going to be super anal here about, about uh, you know, making sure I get everything right. So this gh, this is minus 2gh, and this is a plus gh, so this is just going to equal negative gh plus, and I'm going to copy the other two terms, 4h squared over t plus g squared t squared over 4. And then we can divide both sides. Let's divide everything by this 2g to get us to d equals uh, negative gh divided by 2g is negative h over 2. Mm -hmm plus, let's see, so the 4 divided by 2 is going to be 2h squared over g times t. And then this is going to be uh, plus, uh, we divide by g and divide by 2, so this is going to be plus g t squared over 8. And that, right there, box it wrap it with a bow, put asterisks on it, 
that is it. That is our distance above the top of the window. Holy mackerel, that was a hard problem. So let me see if um, the units work out. The units on D are meters. The units on H are meters. On the units on this term, I'm sorry, let me move my little thing down so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. So the units on D are meters, like I said. The units on H over 2 are going to be meters. The units here will be H squared, will be meters squared. Over G is going to be meters per second squared. And then time is going to be seconds. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nuts. I don't think this is going to work. And the units on this last one are going to be meters per second squared times second squared. So that works. So it's this last one. Dang, did I really screw that up? Meters per second squared, meters per second. Yeah, I did. Son of a gun. Um, I wonder what I did wrong. Let's see. That's the 2h squared over gt was, it was this term here. 4h squared over gt, 4h squared over t, meters squared per second. Son of a gun. Oh, 4h squared. Oh, there's a square here. See, this is squared. I didn't bring this down. There's a squared, t squared, t squared. Okay, so this is all good. So now this is our equation here. Um, and then that would make gt squared would make the second squared. And so this would cancel, this would cancel, this would cancel. Well, sorry. What I mean is this would all cancel into meters. So this works. This is it. Put a bow on, on it. Um, send it to your grandmother because it is done. And it took me about 10 tries, I think, to solve this problem. So for those of you who um, hated us for assigning this, consider this your revenge. Peace.